Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob Carving a Basswood Leprechaun. Carving a Basswood Leprechaun. Right now we're scooping out his ear hole. Got to get them, uh, get all that ear wax out of there. We're going to shape that ear up. And then we'll do the other one. See, we're angling that knife back and scooping it out. Apparently, I didn't have it cut deep enough, so I got to cut a little deeper. Do a little scooping. Get that ear wax out of there. And then we'll have to go over and do the other side. Two of a kind. We're just going to do some simple ears here. We're not cutting all the fancy stuff into them. We're just making a couple nice little round C's. And we're just going to scoop them out. Boy, this would be so much easier with a diamond burr and a microcarver. But I, eh, we're just going to do it. We're having fun. We're just going to do it with the knife. Carve that out there. Using the OCC inch and three-eighths knife to uh, scoop the ear wax out. Get that all cut in there. Like that, yep. Do, do a little wood burn here in a little bit. Get that chip out of that ear. We're cutting back in on an angle to scoop this ear out. Alongside the head there. Got to get that, get that uh, doo-wop out of his ear. Probably been easier to carve a leprechaun with a hearing aid <laughs> or put some big headphones on them so you can listen to that leprechaun music you know that leprechaun music oh danny boy the eyes the eyes are calling from hill to hill and i forget the rest of the song <laughs> yep we gave draw our lines in for our ears there we got to cut the back side of the ear. Try to keep it on the same angle as the front side of the ear. That's what we're going to do. Go too, you go too steep, you can make them like uh, Van Gogh. One ear cut off. So try to match your angles, guys, on your ears. And we're back cutting the ear because uh, his ears aren't attached to his head. I do know that for a fact that that is some people don't have the little dangly bit. It's uh, attached right to the head. So, but our guy, he's got floppy ears. And uh, see, we're cutting the backside out. Yep, so, uh, yeah, I was thinking about what can I possibly carve? I know Easter's coming up, and I got a pattern out of Wood Carver's Illustrated for a bunny wabbit. Um, so he may be on the list because, you know, here comes Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. Hope he don't get caught in my snare outside. Okay, now when you're doing, we're cutting the back of the hat down because our brim is on an angle. And so when you make that cut, especially across the grain like this, um, you can really tell how sharp your knife is, all right? If the knife uh, leaves a nice shiny wood behind, your knife is sharp. If your knife is leaving a dull, hazy color behind, like you see there on the part front part of the hat, then your knife is dull and you need to strop it up. Take it to the strop with some green compound and... Uh, Make even strokes on both sides. Uh, keep the knife blade at the angle that it's on. This happens to be what's called a flat grind. Which means there is no secondary bevel on the front of the knife blade. You see most of your knives will have three steps in them. There will be a flat spot near the top. The angle of the blade that it's ground. And then down right on the blade itself. A lot of times there is a third grind on there. These knives aren't like that. Carving knives are uh, flat grind, which means from the angle all the way down, the blade is the same thickness. It doesn't change. It doesn't have that third 
grind on the finished edge of the blade. It's straight down. So uh, make sure when you strop your knife that you're maintaining that same angle as the front of the blade. Man, my arms are burning. I am not used to using a knife. Power Carvers has ruined me, has, has spoiled me rotten. And I have heard from uh, a couple different folks that uh, leprechauns are not fictional. Leprechauns are real. So, uh, my last video, I said that they were fictional characters. I apologize to all the leprechauns across the land uh, that I have testimony that they are real. They have been seen. Okay? So, sorry for that misinformation, guys. All right, so... We're going to try digging them shoulders in a little bit more. And work the back of the neck down a little bit there. We're using that two and a half inch OCC knife. We're drawing the beard in. Had to put my lead out a little bit. Had to put some lead in my pencil. Ah, ah, ah. See that? We're drawing that beard in there. We got it all drawn in. We're using the OCC V gouge. Or parting tool, whatever you want to call it. Uh, looks like a V to me, so I'm calling it a V tool. It's a V tool! Hey, maybe I should use that when I start signing the bottom of my uh, carvings for the V part, right? Okay, now we're going to take a little more of that neck out of there. Get that chopped down, get that shoulder standing a little more proud. And then we'll come back through with our V-gouge again. We're going to get it shaped the way we want it with that. And then we'll run our knife back around it. We'll probably use the OCC. Inch and three quarter. Or inch and three eighths. No, we're using the two and a half inch knife. Oh, that's daring, Rob. That's a lot of blade to be hanging out there. Uh, I'm choking up. You can see I'm choking up on the blade. To get a little more control over it. Um, the closer the blade, the shorter the blade, the more control you get. Okay. And that's why I like that inch and three eighths knife so much. And that little one inch blade is awesome. Um, for doing things like this too. Get that head cut back under that hat a little bit. Get all chopped in there. We're taking big old swoops out of that. And then we got to put our hairline in. We're, we got to get the, the thickness of the head down so that we can, uh, ooh, the wood, the wood was starting to peel the wrong way. We got a grain change. So we're just taking, we're just lopping that wood right off from there. Got to get that point on the back side of the wood taken down. Get it all cleaned up there. Okay, yep, that's looking good. Up, oh, got to take that. Take that down a little bit. Okay, get them shoulders rounded over a little bit. I don't think he's got enough shoulder. Um, like I said, I think before, I may make a body for this guy instead of just having the head hanging around here. A disembodied head. Uh, so if I decide to make a body for this guy, uh, the shoulders will be taken away anyway. And that part will be removed probably with a bandsaw or chainsaw, hacksaw, seesaw. Anyway, we'll get rid of the shoulders and we will pin the head to the body. Probably with like a half inch dowel rod. Uh, and with that, we can actually turn his head. Oh, getting scary now. Be able to turn his head. So that could be a video all in itself where we just do the body on him. So there, Mr. Leprechaun, what type of cereal, breakfast cereal do you eat? You know I eat Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. They got the marshmallow hearts and clovers. <laughs> I'll probably hear about that. <laughs> yep.
and we're just undercutting it, undercutting the beard there. Get the chest set back a little bit. And get them all worked up. Get them all worked up. This guy was pretty fun to carp. Get the beard trimmed down a little bit there. Make make it more narrow. We'll narrow the beard down towards the front there so he doesn't have such a big round head. Man, if I put a different hat on him, uh, he could almost, I guess it depends on how you cut him. He could be Abraham Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers founded this fair nation. Gettysburg Address. It's the only thing Lincoln, uh, the only speech Lincoln gave that I can remember. Part of it, anyway. Now you can see we're cutting a little, we're cutting notch, uh, a V notch in there to uh, bring his neck out. And now we'll cut the hair in. Give him some hair. And we're going to remove that wood right there. We're doing that three-way cut to uh, make it more pronounced. It's a triangle cut. One. Right there. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, the triangle cut would be uh, one by the beard. Two by the ear. Like that there. And so you just take that little chunk right out. And that gives you a, a nice shadow line right there. Usually I put those in. I use that, that chip cut a lot. Little trick I learned from uh, Doug Linker. He uses that a lot too. It's a three-way chip cut. It's a little triangle. You go deep. Towards the top of the V, and then less, and then a little more shallow, and then you pop that chip out, and it creates a nice shadow line. And we're, you can see, we're digging up underneath that beard, back to where his neck would be, to make the beard stick out. And see what I'm saying, right, right where the back of the neck is there, we could come in with the bandsaw and cut it off. Uh, right to where the the uh, beard rounds over. See right right there where that beard rounds over and goes under the chin. We can take a bandsaw and cut that right off straight across the shoulders there. And uh, that would just give us the head with no shoulders. And then we could pin that head onto a body. Uh, there's a lot of... There's a guy that... Uh, I believe he's out in uh, Oregon... He carves a lot of cowboys. I think his last name is Stahl. And he always carves the head separate from the body. And then he builds the body. And will pin the head on. Roger Stahl? I think his name is Roger Stahl. I, I know I've seen him on Facebook. Okay, so now we're taking that... Uh, V tool and tracing around the back of the head. We're putting the hairline in now. Just kind of drawing it in there with that. You can see. And we're just checking back and forth to make sure we're kind of keeping it the same, the same height and the same, you know, we don't want it all lop, lopsided. Now, when you're pushing this V tool through the wood, uh, guys. And you get stuck like that there, just stop. Don't force that V tool through, or else you could end up with a V shaped gouge in your paw. And uh, believe me, it's no fun. I have done it once, stabbed myself with a V tool. Uh, thank goodness it was a micro V tool. But boy, did that smart, because it cuts you in two different directions, you know. Okay, so now we're taking our knife. And we are tracing over that. 
V gouge cut, the, the V tool cut that we put in there. And that will be our stop cut so that we can bring the neck. There you go, right up there. We can undercut that hair and get that out of there. See that chip cut I put in there? One. Yeah, I messed it up. You're supposed to go one, two, three, and then pop the chip out. I don't know what I was doing. But that really gives you depth right there. See, one, two, and then push up, three. See that? Hey, hey, I finally got it right. And one, pop that, put that stop cut in. And then we'll just keep whittling that neck on down there. Till we get it where we want it. And we're giving, we're just giving that hair some, uh, we're giving a nice shadow line there. And then we're pushing our cup up under the hair to create a shadow line there too. Not that anybody will be looking at the back of his head, but it's a useful cut. We just keep pushing it right back up underneath the hair. And we're giving this, this leprechaun a big, because he's been, uh, and locked down too, so hasn't had a chance to get to the barber and get his hair trimmed up. See that? Yep, right there. All right, all right. Yep, I see uh, Cleve over there at Cleve's at backyard woodworking. He's uh, playing around with a knife too. I think he's uh, doing a flat plane style bunny rabbit. So can't wait to see that video, Cleep. If you're doing a video, I don't even know if he's doing a video on it. Yep. Now we're cutting underneath the front side of the beard. Getting that uh, neck push back. Doing that little scoop cut because we got our green on that area there is running in two ways. So we have to attack it from both sides. And we'll scoop our hat. We want to give that uh, hat that upside down triangle type of feel, flavor, vibe, if you will. Get that all worked in layer like that. Now we have to look at all these chips. Look at all this, these chips. And that ain't the half of it. I got more of that, more chips than that. If I took them and picked them all up off the floor, it's a lot of chips from a little piece of wood. Uh, so we got our pencil out. So we're going to put a little buckle. Had to add some lead. Got to put a little buckle on there. Like so. And then we have to draw the band around the hat. So that we can cut in that band around his hat. Which is basically just a series of stop cuts around. All right. So now uh, we get that all drawn in there. I don't know if you guys want to see this guy get painted or not. So, but I'll probably do a video on painting them. All right, so now we got the wood burner out. And we're going to trace around the eyes. And the mouth and all that stuff. We'll get, them, get it all wood burn in. We'll chase around the band on the hat and the uh, buckle on the hat. And uh, the eyebrows. We'll get them all wood burn in. Okay. See? And then there's his eyelid. 
and we'll get that burned in there. You can see we gave them kind of like those cartoon eyes. And we'll burn his lower lip in. And now we're burning in the uh, smile lines or frown lines. Uh, whatever you want to call them. And then we'll burn the belt buckle, the back buckle in the belt or uh, band around his hat there. And that will finish him other than the paint once we get them all wood burnt. I don't think I'm going to show you guys all the wood burning of the beard and all that stuff like that. I think you guys can figure that out. Uh, we took a micro, our, our V gouge and our micro V tool. And we cut all the hairs for the face in and all the hairs on the back of the head in and all that good stuff. And now we're into the wood burning part. Had to cut a little bit of footage off this, guys. Otherwise, this, this particular video would have been uh, something like uh, 50 minutes long. So we had to sacrifice some of the uh, carving. But, yeah, he's mostly done other than the paint. The wood burning will take care of that like to say uh, hi to Rock of Ages USA and uh, Cleve's Backyard Woodworking and uh, I Can Carve and Jordy Johnson, that carving fusion. You know, now you can see we're burning the beard in there. Ben over at Studio on the Lake, you and your silly little birds. Ben's carving all kinds of birdies. Okay. And that's uh, where we're at with that. So, i like to just say, share, subscribe, and like. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Carve every day if you can. Remember to check the links in the descriptions below. And... Just Carp. We will catch you guys on the next one. All right. All right. Be awesome, guys. Bye-bye.